Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasleem and today in this video, I'm gonna tell you some home remedies to cure pimples. I myself have tried these home remedies and I'm telling you that these remedies are really helpful for me and these are really working well for me and I'm damn sure that these will definitely work for you as well. Okay, so uh, these home remedies have no side effects and you can use them and I will not tell you one home remedy but I will tell you a lot of things so I would request you to watch this video till end because till the end of this video you will definitely find something interesting and valuable in this video. Okay, so before we get into the solution of any problem, first of all we should know the right cause. Okay, so if you have oily skin or dry skin, then first of all, you should know the right reason why you are having pimples. Okay, so as you know that our skin has little uh, pores, okay, uh, little holes in our skin which are known as pores. So sometimes what happens, these little pores are blocked by impurities like uh, dust and dirt and uh, sometimes excess oil as well. So if you have oily skin, then your skin um, get more pimples because oil, you know, attracts dust and dirt more. But if you have dry skin and then you are having pimples, then you should definitely do something about it. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you do's and don'ts for your skin, right? If you have oily skin, then what should you do to your skin? And if you have dry skin, then what you should avoid doing to, to your skin and what you should do to your skin. First of all, I'm going to share uh, the home remedy, which is really very beneficial for both the skin types, dry and oily. I have actually tried it yesterday and I'm going to show, uh, you know, I'm going to share everything with you, how I did that because uh, two days back, I also developed a pimple here and my younger sister is also suffering uh, from this you know acne problem she has a lot of acne on her face and then I tried that home remedy which I'm gonna tell you right now on her as well so within two or three days only she has really you know felt a great change in her skin uh, actually two days back she has she had active pimples but if I will show you the face afterwards but now she has you know uh, these pimples have acne have dried up okay so no within upcoming uh, like within two or three days they will get you know fine so the this home remedy that I'm gonna tell you is of neem combo I have given the name neem combo so what you have to do first of all you have to uh, take some uh, fresh neem leaves okay take some fresh neem leaves and then you have to boil these leaves before boiling these leaves in water what you have to do you have to wash them very clearly please make sure that there should be no dust and dirt on these leaves okay so if you have boiled these neem leaves after boiling you have to uh, steam your face with that neem water okay now if you have oily skin like which is really very oily then you should not do the steaming because what steaming does to our skin steaming open up the pore and the persons the people who have oily skin they have actually open pores so what we are doing we are opening up the pores which is not good so if you have dry skin and then you have pimples and if you have normal skin uh, so in that case you can try the steaming part but yeah, there is no harm in uh, doing steaming with neem leaves even if you have oily skin. So both the skin type persons can try this. Because my younger sister has oily skin and I actually have uh, normal to dry skin. So we both have tried and this really you know worked for us. So um, after steaming, you can steam your face for 10 minutes or 7 to 10 minutes. Yeah. So after steaming, what you have to do, um, you have uh, you don't have to you know use any towel to rub your face. Let it air dry, and after that you have to make a thin paste of neem leaves. Please make sure that the paste should be very thin and like 
uh, its consist uh, consistency should be of creamy yeah i know that this is very hard but yeah you would have to do that because this is really very helpful and um, if you don't want to do that then you can use himalayas neem face pack as well but yeah like i would suggest you please go for 100% natural things so this neem uh, remedy will uh, you know benefit more so you have to make thin paste and you have to apply that face after steaming you can apply it for 15 to 20 minutes or minutes or 30 minutes okay after that you have to wash your face with the same neem water but make sure that that water should not be very hot okay you should or you you can cool that water in the refrigerator right so the water that we you know have got after the steaming so you can freeze that water and you can use that um water to uh, wash your face okay so you can also make the ice cube yeah now come to the next point so if you are having pimples and if you want to see results within 4 or 5 days so what you have to do you have to regularly rub your face with ice ice really works very well for the pimples and if the ice is made up of pure neem then this really you know do wonders for your skin so you can use neem uh, water to make the eyes at home and you have to rub these eyes onto your face so what this uh, will do this will dry up all the pimples on your skin right so i tried this remedy uh, on my sister two days back and she is really seeing a great change in herself so i would suggest you please you should definitely try this if you are having a lot of pimple on your face and there is no side effect of neem and as you already know that neem is known for its antibacterial properties okay so there is no any side effect before going to a very expensive products of um, or before going to any doctor you should definitely give it a try i am telling you that this will really you know satisfy you to a great extent right okay after this neem uh, combo pack now uh, come to the next remedy which is tea tree oil okay so i have been trying tea tree oil on my face for last 3 years and uh, whenever i do makeup or whenever i go to bed i never forget to apply tea tree oil on my face okay so if your uh, skin is pimple prone skin then i am suggesting you to buy uh, tea tree oil because tea tree oil is known for its uh, antibacterial properties okay so you should definitely have tea tree oil with you and uh, you do not have to apply it directly on your skin because if you will apply it directly then it will cause uh, you know irritation so you have to mix this tea tree oil with any other courier oil you can mix it with almond oil or any coconut oil so uh, like if you apply tea tree oil then it is very normal that you will feel a mild irritation but yeah that's quite normal so if you have pimple prone skin then you should definitely apply uh, this tea tree oil right uh, next uh, home remedy is aloe vera i know that you must have heard about it and you can also buy patanjali's aloe vera and you can also grow some aloe vera plant at your home which is very natural and yeah which is far better than the patanjali's aloe vera gel so this really works so well for me because whenever i apply makeup on my skin or whenever i go for the interviews or any meetings so um, instead of applying primer i use the aloe vera gel mixed with any moisturizer so this really works well for me and this doesn't allow the makeup to penetrate deep into my skin okay so the makeup products you know do not harm your skin if you are applying uh, aloe vera gel under the makeup so not only about makeup but if you have dry skin um, then you should avoid using excess aloe vera gel and if you are using then you should use that with a moisturizer like you can mix some oil on it or you can mix something you know a nivea cream and yeah stuff like that okay but if you have oily skin then aloe vera gel really works well for you you can apply aloe vera gel every day if you have oily skin okay so the next remedy that i have tried many times is um honey and cinnamon powder and um, yeah honey and cinnamon powder 
and tea tree oil so you what you can do you can make a thin paste of these three things and you can apply these on your face so um, this will really works so well for you and instead of using tea tree oil you can also use uh, the cloves essential oil so this also works well for you and uh, yeah cinnamon means dalchini dalchini is known for its antibacterial property and it reduces pimples to a you know great level so i hope you like these uh, tips and i would suggest you that you should definitely use these tips before uh, tips before going to any doctor and you know buying expensive products because actually i have never you know gone to doctor for all these things i try to uh, use you know uh, things by my own and i have tried experimented a lot on my skin sometimes it works for me and sometimes it does not yeah so so many people have asked me like you know we had pimples earlier but now the pimples had gone but now we have pimple marks so what we can do so if you have uh, oily skin then to reduce pimple marks you can use a uh, bleaching powder okay no baking soda yeah you can use baking soda mixed with lemon okay and if you have dry skin please 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 avoid using that because it will make your skin more drier right so this tip is for only those persons who have oily skin and for persons who have dry skin what they can do uh, they can use the curd and basin pack every day or they can use this pack on alternate days so this will also help you a lot and i hope you like these tips and you will definitely try these tips and if you find this video helpful please do not forget to give it a thumbs up because it motivates me to make more videos and please do not forget to comment below like you know which home remedy you have tried and which works well for you i really love to read your comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video